Each week in our service, we hold a time for sharing the joys and the sorrows that we bring to this community. This past week, I only received one uh, email asking me to place a stone for a joy. So just a reminder that if you have a joy or a sorrow that you would like to be spoken uh, during the service, you can email me anytime during the week or text and uh, share with me your joy or your sorrow and I will speak it on Sunday morning. Uh, as long as the email is uh, to me, by the time I check email on Sunday morning, it can be included in the service. The stone that I was asked to place this week was asked to be placed by Kathy Hodges. Kathy writes, Steve and I would like if you would place a stone of joy for Carter and Baptiste, who were married yesterday in Cambridge at First Parish UU. While only a few folks got to be there in person, Technology made it possible for people to join on at least two continents. Kathy writes, we are grateful for being able to share the day from afar and for everyone who helped to make it special for her. I will add a stone for everyone in our church who is taking action and especially for the young people of our church, who are organizing, who are letting their voices be heard, who are showing up in Raleigh and Durham and Chapel Hill and Pittsburgh and showing up online and showing up for their friends. It is inspiring and heartening. And a final stone is placed for all those joys and sorrows that we hold in our hearts that were not spoken this morning and are no less real. The prayer this morning was sent by the Poor People's Campaign. One of our uh, young people, college student in our church, is doing an internship right now with the Poor People's Campaign. And uh, what they sent is a prayer of litany for these times. Let us pray as we hear these words. We see the violence of injustice. We see the violence of racism against black people, Latinos, First Nations, and people of color. We know this violence is a threat to all humanity and to this yet to be perfect union. We hear the cries of the poor and low wealth in a land of abundance. We hear the fear of death among the uninsured and underinsured. We hear the groans of ecological devastation and environmental violence. We feel the violence of militarism all around. And we mourn the untold thousands who die every year from poverty lack of health care, and pollution. These things suffocate the life out of a democracy. We join in the struggle of those hurting, and we commit every breath to work, march, fight, vote, and organize in order that we may breathe life into the promises of what may be. Because we are yet alive and breathing, because we are yet free to stand up, we commit ourselves to this work with every breath we have. With every breath we have, we make this declaration to fast from apathy. With every breath we have, we declare, somebody's hurting our brothers and our sisters and our siblings. It's gone on far too long, and we will not be silent anymore. So may it be. Amen. 
The words by which we extinguish the chalice are these. We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. <laughs>